What's up everyone, this is Vlog Talk Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of awesome ways you can use your iPhone camera other than just using it for traditionally taking photos and things like that. So most people use their iPhone camera for Snapchat and taking photos for memories, and that's basically the only purpose that people know about. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of other features your iPhone camera is capable of that you probably never even knew existed. Let's get started. So if you've been around my channel for a little bit, you might recognize a few of these apps, but there are some new ones that you definitely won't recognize. So the first trick I want to show you is if you go to accessibilities on your iOS device and tap on magnifier, you can get a really cool magnifying glass when you triple click the home button on your iOS device or triple click the side button if you have an iPhone 10. So what this does is it basically acts as a magnifying glass and you can zoom up really close further than the camera app lets you. So this is really good if there's something really far away that you want to see or if there's a detail on an object that you just can't see with your eye. I have actually found myself using this quite a few times and it is very helpful. So a lot of people don't know about this. So hopefully you take advantage of this built-in feature in iOS. Now moving on to some really cool apps. This is a protractor app. I know it sounds pretty lame, but if you're in geometry class or anything like that and you forget a protractor, this can be pretty helpful. You can just pull out your phone and then do this. Or if you need to measure something really quick, it's just a pretty cool thing to have on your phone and it can't hurt to have. Now this next app is incredible. So let's just say you're reading a book just pretend that the iPhone represents a book or something what you can do is you can scan that book or the iPhone and it'll read all the text on that and then turn it into a PDF file so that way you can then edit the text in like a document so you can now see that the text that was on the screen is now on my iPhone so let's just say I was holding a book I would then be able to copy and paste and what I could do is copy quotes things like that or maybe even copy the entire page into Google Docs and then do control F and find a specific word I'm looking for or something like that so this actually comes in handy a lot. You can copy and paste and things like that. So hope you guys do enjoy this app. Now this next one is Google Translate. So this is the one you guys might be familiar with, but a lot of people don't know about this built-in feature where you can basically just scan anything and it'll use the camera to translate anything instantly. So you can see it says in English, hello, how are you? And then the other iPhone just scanned it because it says English to Spanish. It's now converting that to Spanish using the camera. Now there's also a very similar application that will do the exact same thing for math. It'll scan it and solve the problem, which is really cool. This next app is called PhotoScan. Now what this does is whenever you take a photo of an actual paper photo on the iPhone, it can be like off angle and it's not, it's not going to be centered. It's going to look kind of ugly if you take a photo of a photo. But what this app does, which is provided by Google, is if you scan all these circles, it can do a really good job of aligning the photo and making it properly horizontal and vertical so that way there's no depth issues and it looks like the photo was actually saved. The reason you're viewing a weird result right now is just because I was taking a photo of a 3D object. It's not really meant for that. Now this next feature that doesn't really use the camera, pretty cool. So I have an image of a potato and let's just say I wanted to find this image in Google and I was like, okay, what websites have this image? Well, what you can do is you can reverse search by using an image and it will pull up all the websites that use that exact photo. Now, what I find really odd is this potato, it's kind of off track, but this potato is going for $15. It's in stock and it has almost 400 star ratings. Like what? I don't know. I didn't know you could buy potatoes on the internet just like that. I don't know, I don't really purchase stuff on the internet, but it's just kind of weird that you can buy a potato for $15. <laughs> anyway, the next app this is kind of a bonus app I wasn't going to mention, but I just decided to. This is an awesome video recording app that basically has incredible frame rate, better than the iPhone stock app. And on top of that, it lets you zoom up really far and the videos will not get distorted. It does a really good job of that. So you can get really high quality video. I recommend using that instead of Apple's stock camera app. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I got a bunch of really cool videos coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. And as always, peace.